kind of crooked. Like I feel like this looks crooked. Anyway, happy Sunday from Atlanta. I've been in Atlanta since Friday afternoon. I kept going back and forth on whether I wanted to vlog the entire weekend and I just didn't feel like doing that. So it's Sunday. Today's my last full day and then I head home tomorrow um, early afternoon. So I thought I'd do a daily vlog and that'll be tomorrow's uh, video. I came down to film a few episodes of my new podcast um, that's coming out. Um, so I did that. So I was in the studio most of yesterday and then I literally slept the rest of the day. And then um, for Friday night, me, the two guys that I'm hosting the podcast with, my best friend Brittany, who I'm staying with, and a couple other guys from college, we all went to dinner. I forgot the name of the place. I'll put it on the screen, but it was really good. Like the food was really good. So I haven't really been doing a lot of stuff, but today Brittany and I are going to get um, brunch in a cute little area she said she think I like. And then, you know, there's some shopping. So maybe I'll stop in some stores and just take a peek. Um, there is a museum that I wanted to try and hop in. So if we have time, I'll do that. So if not, we're about to go to Starbucks now. We're going to go to brunch. We're going to do a little bit of like sightseeing, not sightseeing, but like strolling around the area that we're eating in. So I'll have some stuff um, to share. So anyway, I'm going to head to Starbucks and yeah, let's do that. in the car from Starbucks my original plan was to sit in there and just chill for a little bit but their inside is still closed and even though it's the warmest it has been since I've been in Atlanta this weekend it's still a little too chilly for me to be outside so I got my coffee I typically get like a medium roast and I get three pumps of sweetener and um, coconut milk that's my coffee drink um, and they made it really good it's so good um but I also got a sandwich to hold me over. There's a um, Einstein Bros bagels right here. I love their bagels. So I'm actually gonna go get a sandwich from there, but I got a sandwich from Starbucks to hold me over until I get over there to get a sandwich. That's some greedy shit. But I figured I'd just sit in a car and do like a mukbang. Maybe I'll tell you a little bit about um, the podcast. So yeah, let me get over there, hop in line, give me some food and then we'll chat. Dude, I was in that line for over 30 minutes. So I just came back to my friend's house. I'm in the parking lot. <laughs> of our building and i'm gonna just eat out here before i go in um we're real ghetto i have y'all in the like dash thing so this is the steering wheel you see but like she doesn't vlog so she doesn't have anything in here where i can um vlog it. Ew, it's wasting girl anyway i got a lox bagel from einstein bros bagel um because like i said that sandwich i got from starbucks just wasn't enough i'm hungry i didn't eat any dinner last night I literally slept through the night. I was so tired. Oh, it looks good though. I hope it doesn't waste. I would be so pissed. <laughs> Can y'all see that? Oh, yeah, there it is. It's so good. Anyway, like I said, I came down here to um, film a few episodes well record and then there was video filming of it as well a couple episodes of the podcast that i started with a couple guys that i went to college with oh huh. mm. girl i'm trying not to make a mess in her car anyway the name of the um podcast is cashmere and cognac and essentially we're talking about like luxury lifestyle um our our determination of luxury um but it's about fashion and music and lifestyle and pop culture um from an elder millennial standpoint black elder millennial uh standpoint and so yeah we filmed four episodes on yesterday and some of the stuff that we talked about we talked about cuffing season so what that actually means and sort of the ramifications of those like short-term relationships um we talked about what to get people that have really expensive tastes or seem to have everything like as gifts um we also had we had an episode specifically about um clothing so it was called drip or drown and we just sort of interrogated certain um celebrity styles or like um certain trends and stuff like that um so it's a, a array of like topics um the drip or drown is actually going to be a section or yeah a section or segment in each episode so we had one full episode like that but then every uh podcast episode we're going to interrogate one personal style choice or trend or something like that 
um and then we'll have a drink segment because one of the guys sean he's really into cocktails and stuff and so he is going to give us like a, a cocktail of the episode why does it look like it's getting dark am i tripping i don't know maybe i'm tripping um anyway so he's gonna do like a cocktail of the episode so and then um the other guy marcus um he is really into music he's great like he introduces me to a whole bunch of new stuff so he's going to do like a music segment every week so like i said music lifestyle fashion sort of a hodgepodge of of lifestyle things so so yeah that's what your girl has been up to i need to let my phone cool down a little bit or something i don't know i'm sorry that the lighting looks crazy what else has been going on not much i have two job interviews coming up one is this week one is next monday the one that's next, that's next monday is intense it's an all-day interview it's one at 10 on a panel like a zoom panel one at one and then one at three so i have three zoom panels with four people each interview and i'm just like oh my god like but i literally was in therapy last week in tears i mean i feel a shift and i know that a shift in my professional life is needed because i just don't feel like i'm being challenged um and i don't feel like my skills are being put to the test or i'm in a position where i can develop new skills and so i know it's time to move on but like i've been applying for like the last two months i've even gotten my my um, resume professionally redone and i did an interview the, the interview that i have on next monday i did a first round interview with them like over a month ago and i'm just now hearing back from them and then the one that i have tomorrow i apply over a month ago and i'm just now getting a response for a first interview from them and so God just works in his own timing and, you know, it, it's just a reminder to be patient and I have a really hard time with that. And then I feel bad because I'm like, your faith isn't strong enough, but I know that I have strong faith, but I feel bad because I, I doubt it. It's just crazy. But anyway, God showed up and was like, look, see, just, you know, chill out. So I have two interviews coming up hopefully i do well the one the one that's next Monday, i'm sort of like nervous about i am going to prepare for that one because three interviews in one day with four 12 different people like girl i don't know so we'll see anyway i'm gonna finish eating this bagel i need to get upstairs start getting ready to go to brunch so i'll see y'all then so first you swirl it and then um if it doesn't stick then that means that the nitrate's not as many nitrates in there so you won't get a headache so that's a pretty good wine if you can see if you can see it stick to the rim so the second thing you do is when you take a sip and i say sip but it's not a sip it's a go and you let it hit the back of your throat because that's where you're gonna taste it. And then you can swish it around a little bit to get like the flavor. And then you're supposed to spit it, but you can take it, you can go on and swallow it if you want to. I swallow mine, I like to swallow mine. That's what he said. And then, she said. you know, if it's in a good wine glass. Yeah. Thank you thank so much. Thank you. Ooh, that Don Julio looks, I mean, not Don Julio. What we gonna say is Don Julio. Don <laughs> Even Nacho. though we, Don Hatchel. Is that a cousin, you know? So if it's in a good wine glass, no, you can make it sing if you want. Go ahead. Get you ladies anything else for the moment? No, thank you. It looks great. I'll let you two enjoy. Thank you. Of course. The sun is outrageous. Like, oh my gosh. But then it's gonna be gone yeah. <laughs> in two seconds. Two seconds. Too sexy for your car. Too sexy for this bar. Too sexy for this. is ridiculous right now oh my god luckily i got here in plenty of time so i'm not worried but jesus now what kind of place is called buckhead books it ain't gonna books i was trying to find a book to read this month by a black woman it's not gonna happen girl
I'm back home. I literally just walked in the door, as you saw, and I brought a package in with me. I ordered some um, lugged boots. I think I mentioned that. Maybe I didn't. I ordered some boots um, from Jeffrey Campbell. I actually ordered them from Nordstrom Rack, and they were like 100 bucks. so I went ahead and got them. Um, I am so tired. I'm so happy to be home. I love seeing my friends, but I always just miss my own space. So I'm going to edit this vlog or finish editing it because I started and then I am going to just lay around and chill. I actually need to prepare because I have an interview tomorrow as I mentioned. Um, so I'm going to do a little bit of preparation for that but other than that I'm going to just lay around and chill. Oh I can't wait to like wash my hands but I wanted to like open this before I wash my hands and all of that stuff. Anyway let's let's get into the box. So this is the box that it came in. Super festive really festive i used to wear jeffrey campbell's all the time back in college they were like my splurge shoe because they were kind of expensive like you know boots would be two 200 sometimes 250 or something like that so i would splurge on jeffrey campbell's i haven't bought a pair in such a long time um but like i said these were on sale for 99.97 on nordstromrack.com and they're a lugged boot sort of a play on like the um the uh, Bottega boot, but not the Bottega boot because for me, this is sort of a trend and I didn't want to spend a lot of money on trends, but I wanted to try the look style and I have a Zara version that is like a faux leather, but not a really good faux leather. So I thought since these were on sale for a hundred dollars that I would get a better, um, inexpensive quality, if that makes sense. So this is a size 10. I'm hoping it runs true to size because I think this was the last one. So this is the boot on. I think it's cute. Um, I probably would have went up a half a size just for comfortability. Like they fit, but this thick sock makes them a tad bit just too tight or they fit too perfectly. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, so if I would have known, if I could have like tried them on, I would have got a half a size up just so I could wear a thicker sock, but they fit, they fit. Cute, I like them. Anyway, I'm gonna close out the vlog here, get it edited and get it uploaded on the channel um, today at some point. This is the boot just up close, just in case you wanna see it again. Um, yeah, I see, it's cute, I like it. Let me take the sticker off the back of it. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Um, if you haven't already, make sure that you uh, have hit that subscribe button if you are enjoying it here. Also follow me over on my socials. I am really active on TikTok. And um, I'm trying to grow the Instagram that I created specifically for um, my YouTube page. And that handle is um, Sounds About Angela. I'll put both of the handles here for TikTok and Instagram. Uh, make sure you're following me both there and subscribed here. And I will see y'all in the next video. I am all traveled out. I'm tired. Peace.